Welcome back, Poverty Family. It's your boy, King versus Poverty. So on this week's video, what I wanna do is a family review of a compact car, our new compact car, how viable it is for families of four plus, right? How accessible it is, how available, things like that. The things that I wanted to know that I couldn't necessarily find out and I was watching all these types of videos to figure it out. So I wanna bring you guys some information. Follow me with the journey. I'll let you know what happens. So guys, as you see, engine compartment, a little loud because we're at the car wash, but cleanest engine compartment I ever owned. So then when you get to, let's go with the back seat, right? So when you talk about adult space in the back seat, this is my knee room here. And this is where the front seat is placed. So the front seat is placed a little bit higher than the driver's seat. So obviously on this side, it's gonna have a little bit less space. But if you see, right, I'm 5'11". Good headroom. So when you're talking about having children in the back, it's not gonna be too complicated to have your children in the back seat and have them with a moderate amount of space. Now, they don't have a luxurious amount of space like you would in a full-size sedan, but they aren't as crammed as you would in a more compact car. So when you're comparing things like this versus the Nissan Versa or versus the smaller Hyundai uh, compact car being the Hyundai Accent, what you lose out on is backseat leg room. Now, as you can see, with the base model comes the base model package on the interior. So this right here is a non-enthusiastic plastic gray color. They did a little bit better with this here, but right, it just looks, looks like your base model. It looks like the back of a police car. So the back of the seats don't have a net, as you can see. And this middle seat in some of the higher models do have an armrest. Sometimes they do have a sunroof up there. So the base package does give you base model experiences, but the bang for your butt, you gotta decide what it is that you're using it for. If you're buying the car, going into it, looking for the accessories, make sure you look at models that include what you're looking for. But when I tell you, you get the most freaking value out of buying this model car with the transferable powertrain warranty, the transferable five year, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty, and all of the stuff that comes with that to protect your investment, as well as what I'm going to use the car for in the future is renting it out and this is the best setup that you can have because it leaves less interior components to be damaged. So, not to mention the front seat, if you can see, it has the Apple Android CarPlay there, um, controls and illumination on your dashboard there, unlock and lock key fob, six speed uh, transmission. Really? It does look like a heart, baby. I say all in all, it's a pretty good bang for your buck. All right, guys, watch the little insert that I did for the trunk space. It was crazy. I'll see you in a minute. So another element of having a compact car is obviously the trunk size. So especially for me, so as you see, I deliver uh, newspapers, right? So we are independent couriers of newspaper products is the legitimate way that you say that. So what we need is everything to have as much trunk area space as possible so then we can sufficiently do our deliveries. So what I wanted to know and what I was looking at when I was deciding on this vehicle is the trunk size. Now, you know when you're looking at stuff, the statistics and they're like, well, it has 33 cubic feet and 42 cubic, 
I don't know what that is, right? Now, mathematically, I understand, but I'm saying I don't have a visual of a picture of how much stuff I can put in it based on the math. So let's see if I can fit in it. That's the only way to see if it's big enough, right? So and it also has a pull lever that I try to get my man to test out. It did not work. It was scary. He walked away. Be quiet, boy. All right, man. Ugh. Oh, oh. Hold on. So, as you guys can see, <laughs> as you guys can see, I can fit in here. All right, close it so I can see if the push lever works. Hold, hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on. You're gonna put the baby in there with you? <laughs> All right, so, close it slowly, please. Watch this, watch this, watch this, you guys. Oh, this is dope. It's closed, right? Right. How Boom! You, I, that didn't work last time. That's because you didn't know what you was doing, brother. All right, come on, Dad, let's get out. How do you, how do you, how do you, how do you do it? Help my baby, bro, I can't see. Ah. you open it Ugh. and why do you need to as you guys see this trunk on this car um on this compact vehicle is not only big enough to fit one person it's big enough to fit one and a half people aka two people aka man, listen man it's a it could fit some body bags in there man if that's if that's what you into that ain't what i'm into but if that's what you into listen here I the thing. trunk size is family approved all right y'all We'll see you in a minute. And we are back. So as you can see, look, that one's sleep. I don't know what he doing. He didn't did a whole little circle in the back. So there's enough space to do that. So my favorite feature on the car. So look guys, I don't know if you can see it. Hey, yeah, y'all know I'm, I'm still trapping, man. I ain't, got no, I ain't got no gas. But my favorite feature on the car is the little racing flag type material that you got in there. And they also do have some artificial carbon fiber looking material up here so that's pretty fly so all in all great value for depending on what you're trying to do right if you're looking for reliability consistency um family sized amount of space this is the one so let's go into the second part the motivation part so look it's tremendous to me just the idea and the concept that not a year, you guys, not even a year ago, man, I'm riding in a van, right? And just contemplating on the move, like telling myself, man, stay down, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's going to be better days. But like living in Seattle, right? It rains a lot of the time. Not having the windshield wipers and having to speed up enough to where the rain beads off of your windows it's a it's a minivan both doors are broken like until a certain point every time we got in the car we had to use our jump box mind you before we had the jump box we got stuck everywhere i'm talking about everywhere we didn't got jumps from people in the weirdest most oddest places but getting stuck right or even buying the jump box and then having to use the jump box every day it built the muscle necessary to push forward you feel what i'm saying so without that i may have still been emotionally attached to motor vehicles in a way where i was willing to pay for something i shouldn't have paid for or willing to put myself in a position that wasn't necessarily to benefit and move my family's financials to the next phase because a lot of you guys get these cars right and you do it based on your emotions so you get the cars you get the car that you like you know what i'm saying it ain't nothing wrong with that you you only live once, do what you want. You see that man, 
He uh -huh. is pissing. Uh -huh. He is pissing. Uh -huh. That man been having to pee for a long time. <laughs> An bro. hour at least. Damn. <laughs> but pee in a cup called lemonade, baby. Man, people get these cars, man, and they do different stuff and respond differently to the world, right? Make sure that when you're making your moves because this ain't for everybody hey look if you got good credit and you got some money and stuff like this ain't for you hey you bless bless up man keep doing keep doing your thing keep going hard but for the people that aren't in position yet and feel like man listen man this shit is hard well i don't know if i'm gonna get there man you gonna get there but you gotta map the plan out in your head and stay consistent and stay consistent man riding around in that broke down ass van i stayed consistent i stayed consistent and even now right all of you know what I'm, saying? I'm the empire is just simply building right i finally have a foundation and can afford to keep building the empire that i see in my head because i see something tremendous in my head you know what i'm saying i see a whole fleet of electric cars a hydraulic cadillac and a whole bunch you know what i'm saying buying my mama a car on top of buying the house i see a bunch of stuff in my head and i just want to keep building keep building multiple different rental properties for my family young man come on man a fleet of vending machines that my kids own man come on man y'all still y'all still talking about allowance man you know what i'm saying i want my kids to have businesses we don't allow nothing they're going to allow you guys to shop with them. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing none of that. So that's just a quick tidbit for the people that don't believe that shit like this can happen. It can happen, bro. You just got to stay consistent. You, you got to stay down. You know what I'm saying? The only thing required in this process is stand down. You know, until you get to come up, man. And I, look, a, 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 people perceive different things different ways. In my mind, I ain't up, man. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm on a hill. I'm on a slope. I'm in the middle. You know what I'm talking about? I'm in the middle. All right, y'all. The coolest feature about the car, right? We didn't get to the coolest feature is lane keep assist. Look at my hands, right? Now look at the wheel. It's turning. Now, that's lane keep assist. So let me show you. So if you look there, it says keep your hands on the steering wheel so they can make sure I'm not letting it drive by myself, by itself, which I am. Um, but lane keep assist so you see the lanes on the little monitor there as soon as it's able to register its boundaries it'll keep you within them so whoa it's turning y'all oh oh it's turning look look at that look at that head all i'm doing is pressing the pedal and even that i could turn on um cruise control and then literally i wouldn't be doing anything Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit! Ah! Ah! It's scared! And with that, that's our review of our 2019 compact car. We love y'all. Y'all know, from the poverty family to you, y'all gonna get there. You know what I'm saying? All y'all gotta do is keep grinding. That's all I did. All I did was keep grinding. All I did is remain optimistic and understand that I was better than my circumstances. And that's what we want you to know. If you watching this and you feel like your circumstances defeating you or preventing you from leveling up, you're better than your circumstances. Eventually, you're going to win a round. As soon as you win one round, you can win two. And if you can win two rounds, you can win the fight. And that came from us. All right, we out.